Hello and welcome to our channel, Cheating Exposed. Today, we're revealing another story to uncover the truth behind the lies. So, let's get started. A couple of weeks ago, I decided I wanted to surprise my wife with a kid-free night out. My parents live about an hour and a half away from us, and I arranged for the kids to stay with them for the weekend. Usually, when I go to my parents, I'm gone until later in the evening. We spend all day there and leave around dinner time. This time, I was dropping the kids off and immediately going home so I could surprise my wife and we could go out as soon as possible. I had made reservations at a nice restaurant and was hoping to go to a few places for some drinks first. I left at 8.30 and was back in our housing plan before 12.30. As I pulled onto my street, I saw a truck parked in front of my house. I did not recognize it. I assumed it was someone seeing the neighbors because it's not that unusual for someone to park in front of our house. I parked a few houses away, thinking I would sneak into the house and surprise my wife instead of pulling in the driveway and going in the garage. I went in through the basement door. I was as quiet as possible, but as soon as I walked in, I heard her making sounds from the floor above. When I first heard it, I thought she was just by herself, maybe having some personal time. I didn't want to interrupt her privacy and embarrass her, so I was going to go back to my car and just go in the garage so she would know I was home. Then I heard a man's voice. I immediately felt sick. My heart felt like it was going to explode out of my chest. It is hard to describe how I felt at this moment. I decided to go upstairs. I had no desire to confront them, I just wanted to see what was going on. I moved slowly and quietly up the stairs. The door was halfway open. The kitchen was empty, but I could tell they were in the living room. It was obvious what was going on at this point by the sounds. There was no way for me to look in the living room without them seeing me. I pulled out my phone and opened my camera app. I put my phone just around the corner of a wall. This part is so hard to write. I could see my wife with a man I didn't recognize. I won't go into detail on what they were doing, but I think you can figure it out. I started recording it, thinking that I needed a record of it for whatever I decided to do in the future. I just stood there in my kitchen, watching this all unfold on my phone screen. I felt like I could just scream at any moment, but for some reason, I just froze completely. This went on for several minutes. She finally jumped off of him and made a comment about going to the bedroom, and they went upstairs. She even made a comment about how much time they had left. I walked into the living room and found the guy's pants. I took his wallet out and took pictures of his driver's license. I know his name and his address now. I've never met him. I have no idea how my wife knows him. I left the house the same way I entered. I went back to my car and cried like the pathetic man I am. I decided to watch the video to make sure it recorded. I watched it all. I'll spare the details, but I sat in my car for at least half an hour. I couldn't drive to my parents and get the kids as I would have to explain why. I decided that I would pull into the driveway, open the garage, and just pretend like I was there to surprise her. I took my time getting into the house. I made a lot of noise. When I saw her, she was very flustered, asking me why I was home, etc. She was in a robe and said she was just getting ready for a bath. I told her about my plans, and she seemed excited. She poured us both a glass of wine and said we should pre-game before getting ready. I don't think I talk much, really. She took me into the living room. I'm not proud of what I let happen. I could faintly see the guy sneaking downstairs and going to the basement stairs, but I didn't say or do anything, I just let my wife continue doing what she was doing to me. Since that day, I have watched the video of her repeatedly. I can't bring myself to make any decisions on what I should do next. She seems to know something is wrong with me because she's asked a few times if I'm okay. I feel worthless, and every time I hit a low point, I watch that video again. I feel like I've watched it at least 10 times a day since I caught them. First update. 
I stopped watching the video after reading all the comments on my first post. It has helped clear my mind and allowed me to focus on the next steps. This has allowed me to be mostly back to my normal self for both my kids and my job. I have gone through my wife's phone and found nothing. I searched the guy's name from the driver's license. I figured out how they met. He's a landscaper. She was calling some a few months ago to clean up our yard and ended up getting some mulching and cleanup done. I've driven past his house many times. I think he is single, as I couldn't find any records of other people living at that address. I've only seen a truck parked in the driveway when I've driven by. I have been avoiding my wife after the kids are in bed to try to limit one on or one time. I don't want any awkward conversations, and I also don't want to have sex. I have mostly been successful with this, but did slip up one night when I had a little too much to drink. I hated myself for it the next day. I don't believe she has seen him since the day I caught them. I've been paying attention anytime she's gone. I obviously can't track her 100%. I've read about Apple AirTags, but I use Android. I'm guessing any app one would put on her phone may be discovered. I have installed a doorbell camera on our house though, so I can always see the street. When I did this, my wife didn't say anything. We continue to do things as a family as we normally would. I have done my best to not let her know what I know and to continue to be a good dad to my kids. The weird thing I'm dealing with now is that she's planned a night out with a friend for drinks. It's a friend from work, so I don't know her at all, and I'm not connected with this person on social media. When she told me, I made up some excuse about work and said I couldn't watch the kids. She ended up getting our neighbor to agree to babysit. Now I'm debating if I should follow her to really see if she's meeting her friend or the guy. It seems like I'm heading towards a confrontation either way when I just want everything to go back to normal. I'm going to leave my house soon and pretend to be going to work. I'll probably just go to a bar to kill time until I can drive by the place she's supposed to be going to. I'm filled with dread about all of this. Second update. On the night she was going out with her friend, I still pretended I had work and left the house after the babysitter arrived. I went to a bar and had a few drinks. Then I drove over to the restaurant where she said she was going. I saw her car in the parking lot. I'm not going to lie, I was on edge and incredibly nervous, even with the drinks earlier. I was so worried I would walk in and see her with that guy. I was hoping to sneak in and get a look without being seen, but that failed miserably. She saw me as soon as I walked in the door. She was with her friend, not the guy. We had the, what are you doing here? Thought you were working conversation as expected. I told her work ended early, so I wanted to stop by to say hi since we had a babysitter. I left after a couple of drinks and went home to relieve the sitter. So many of you commented on my last post that I needed to confront her, and I decided in that moment that I would. I couldn't hold it in any longer. I got the kids to bed and waited for her to come home. I watched the video again to remind myself of what happened. When she got home, she was surprised I was still up and could apparently tell from my expression that something was wrong. I poured everything out. I didn't even let her sit down. I told her everything. I played part of the video to show her what I saw. I called her some harsh names, told her she had ruined our lives. In that moment, I was incredibly angry. She was very upset, crying heavily and shaking. She told me how terrible she felt about everything. I demanded she tell me everything about the guy, and she laid it all out. She cheated on me twice with him. After the time I caught them, she ended things because she knew it was wrong and said she loves me. I asked her for proof, but she said she had already deleted and blocked him on her phone, Facebook, and Instagram. She did admit that he is single and knew she was married. She asked me to delete the video, but I refused. She asked me why, and I didn't really have a reason other than feeling like I need to hold on to it for now. She got a little angry at that and asked if I was keeping it to watch again. It was very late by that point, so we decided to go to bed and talk more the next day when we had more time to think. 
She kept apologizing for what she did. We slept separately that night. Over the next few days, things between us seemed better. I felt some relief that it was all out in the open. We've continued to talk, and it feels like we're on a path towards staying together and moving past this. I've made it clear that she is never to see or talk to that guy again. While things feel like they're improving, I'm still struggling to trust her. Worse yet, I have a trip coming up for work, and I'll be gone for a few days. I've told her that I'm not comfortable leaving right now, but I can't skip this trip. My boss made it clear that I'm needed. She said I could put cameras up in the house to keep an eye on her if it would make me feel better. Sadly, I may actually do that. I'll be gone for at least three days. Overall, things are okay. The kids are oblivious to what's going on, and it seems like, slowly, my wife and I will eventually get back to normal. I hope so, at least. I'm a little ashamed to admit that I've watched the video a few times since all of this. I'm thinking I should probably delete it so it's gone from my life. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, folks that's all. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.